In this video, I would explain how to interpret the UT indications obtained from the welding perfection. And I will talk about the interpretation practices and techniques which are used in UT to categorize the weld defect as a lack of sidewall field. We will briefly touch the amplitude response from the defect at the various probe positions. Here we have 30 mm thick single V butt weld which contain weld imperfection 20 mm depth from top surface with 5 mm height and 200 mm length. Now we move to the actual scanning. In manual UT for weld scan we move UT probe back and forth transferly from weld toe to stand off distance up to one and a half times of the full skip length for beam path. This is to cover the full weldment like weld cap, weld root including few in boundaries and heat affected zone. Here in animation you can see the pulse, sound poles are hitting the back wall and making a v-shaped progression. This is nothing but the sound beam path at the full skip length. Now you can imagine that the weld won't be fully scanned if there won't be any transfers and lateral scan at appropriate speed. Now we will evaluate the amplitude response of the lack of sidewall fusion with respect to the various pull probe position. Here we can see the high amplitude signal from A on second leg of the full skip and at position C within the half skip obtained at 153 mm and 66 mm range respectively. At both the position A and C the sound beam is hitting at the middle of the defect. The position B the primary beam is hitting on the top ligament of the defect and at the position D the primary beam is hitting on the bottom ligament of the defect. In both the instances, the probe angle is such that the beam is not perpendicular to the defect. Therefore, at position B and the D lower amplitude signal is received at the range of 58 mm and 161 mm respectively from defect. For lack of sidewall fusion, the best response is received by lateral moment. To interpret the echo response, mark the position where the best response is being received. As we move the probe toward the defect, the amplitude will start rising. At the start of the defect, you can see the amplitude is approximately 50% or 6 dp of the full signal response height. As we will keep moving the probe, then the max signal response will be received. Based on this best response, all evaluation and sizing will be done. As probe move at the end of the defect, the amplitude will start decreasing. Mark the probe position when the amplitude reach at the 6 dp or 50% of full amplitude response. This will be used to measure the length of the defect. Further to evaluate whether the identified defect is lack of fusion, place the probe where the best response was received, give swivel or rotational or orbital movement. If amplitude falls rapidly with the changing position of the probe, then the found defect is lack of fusion. The reason is that in lateral movement, the sound beam remains perpendicular to the defect and amplitude held stable. However, as the probe swell orbited or rotated as shown in the animation, the sound reflected angle change and full echo response does not reach to the probe crystal. Eventually, no response or low amplitude appears on flaw detector display.